take this moment here to honor the memory of one of our fallen staff members here at Willamette Speedway. Mr. Rick Barnes, who used to work the turn three down there in the back stretch, his yellow flag and his hockey mask, lost his life just prior to the start of the 2017 racing season. Turn three. Will never be the same. Rick started at Willamette in the late 1980s as a push truck driver. He soon moved to the corner flagger for the past 20 years. In that time, Rick held just about every position at this track. This was his home away from home. He had a genuine love for racing and a soft spot for extreme fire and rescue and the safety of all of our drivers here at Willamette Speedway. To those who knew him, off the track, he was very family-oriented and had a great sense of humor. He was very well-known in the community and always easy to spot at the racetrack with his Eminem shirt and his famous Jason mask. Rick is greatly missed here at Willamette Speedway, but knowing he is looking down from the best seat in the house gives those who loved him a special kind of peace. Rick, we're going to race in your memory tonight. We're going to honor you the best way we can with some high horsepower and dirt track racing. We miss you, bud. We love you. And turn three will never be the same.
your car up front. You know where I ran, it really wasn't that bad. I just just stay out of the hole. I mean, just go a little higher, just go around it. Some guys just like to go through them. It's just making quicker. Well, watching the guys that are going through them, they're actually getting the entire left side of the car completely off. You can see the daylight there. Uh, the track is still pretty racy right now. There is a top side. We were talking about it earlier uh, during the heat race. It looks like the top side of the racetrack might be where some of the fast guys are going to be at the end of the night. Yeah, this side you can enter. You can drive it in really deep and go to the top here, but I haven't tried it over at the Grand Prix yet. But we'll see what it comes around when it gets dark now. What is it going to take to win the 2000 Strawberry? 2017 and Strawberry Cup here in the late model division. You know, we got a lot of fast cars here this weekend. It's going to take some, you're going to really have to be good tonight to win it. Well, good and with a little bit of luck because you guys are on the redraw tonight here on the front stretch. All right, so race fans, that's your late model winner, Bryce and James. Bryce, and let's give a shout out to some of the sponsors helping me out on this ride. I want to thank my grandpa, my dad, uh, Troy for helping out this weekend. Uh, Parker's Cars, Ryan Huff's been a huge help this year. Uh, Not Whole Market, Race Grant, James and Pizza. They got a great package underneath you right there. Best of luck this year, young man. We'll talk to you Life later on tonight. Clubbing out of the modified Trophy Dash winner is Cullen Weinbarger, the kid they call Superman. Man. This racetrack, we've talked about it at the beginning of the season. Do you remember a racetrack like this week after week here at Willamette Speedway? No, no, we're, uh, I mean, it's all it's all new people, so there's some growing pains going on, but they're making it better and better. I think, uh, I think it's pretty racy tonight. I'm going to get rid of some of the holes, and uh, I think this strip of moisture is going to go away in three and four, and it'll, uh, it'll be pretty racy. Uh, Sucks uh, starting next to a guy like Bryce and you show him how to start on the outside one time, you won't let me do it to him again. Uh, he played that perfect, but um, no, it's uh, I think they got a pretty good race track on it. Looks like they're gonna do some working on it, and hopefully, we can put on a good show for the fans. Well, it's just like you said, you know, you showed him what, what was up there in the, in the modified dash, and he kind of paid you back here in the late models. But that was an awesome race. This modified show tonight, I think, is going to be really something to watch. It's going to be fun. The track, like you said, I was just telling Bryce, it looks very racy. It's, it's not going to be a one laner on the bottom. Or, I think we're going to have three really good groups. Yeah, I think, uh, I think if they can get that top to build up a little bit more, I think we'll have a pretty good show. Uh, I think we're going to have a good show anyways. There's a lot of good cars here this weekend. Which is, uh, which is fun. Hopefully it's a good, you know, fun to watch. It's the Strawberry Cup. It's one race that all you drivers want to win. I know you put it on your schedule. As soon as you saw the schedule come out, you had that spot reserved for the Strawberry Cup. What's this race mean to you, Colin? It's, uh, you know, the Strawberry Festival not being a local guy. You know, I, I did, about three years ago, when we started racing it full time, I didn't know what it was all about. Everyone got really excited and wasn't, wasn't really entirely sure why. And then, that year we decided, well, let's go check out the parade and the carnival and every, just the whole town comes to life. The racing, everyone always wants to come out and see it. Uh, it's usually a pretty good fan count. Uh, no, it's just a, a great weekend for racing. And, uh, hopefully we can, I think uh, we won this deal last year, so we can do it again tonight. You did win it last year, you're looking to go back to back. While we're talking trophies, wanted to mention, you mentioned the parade here earlier today. Willamette Speedway's float took second in the parade and, and, and voting. Really? Well, as long as another racetrack didn't beat us, we're, uh, that's good. That's right. Well, I want to wish you the best of luck tonight. The Modifies is a Superman called a wine bar. going to shout out to some of your sponsors, bud. Uh, i got to thank my guys. Eddie's not here tonight, so Dad and Skyler and Bradley are, are picking up the slack. Uh, Powers Transport, Chance Game Pizza, Crocker's Cars, uh, Frisbee Motorsports, Go, Go Plumbing, Discount Race Car Parts, Checker Flag Asphalt Paving and Seal Coating, Spirit Trucking, Victory Circle Race Cars, uh, the list goes on and on. Hopefully uh, we can give them a big W tonight. So you're crucially busy here tonight? Nope, we're, uh, we're winging it. You know, last year's Strawberry Cup modified winner, his crew chief was in Hawaii while he won, got his first feature win here. I might have, I might have heard something about that. Actually, I think uh, maybe we can, uh, we can play it in our hand too. It might be an omen. Leave your crew chief at home for a Strawberry Cup. Good job, Colin. We'll talk to you later on. We're going to go over here and talk to our Super Sport Trophy Dash winner, Mr. Dan Dival. Dan, this car is just absolutely wicked fast, man. It is so much fun to watch. Let's talk about what it's like to pilot one of the Super Sport cars around this track. Oh, it's it's really good. The car is really good. Um, I really like it. Um, the track's really good for the Super, so I even a little bit rough this for I was watching it down here in the bottom of one and two. That stuff didn't seem to bother you much. I mean, you were hammered down, letting it ride, and just drove right through it. Yeah, it was a rough ride, but it was going forward. 
Well, it worked because this sword's car is just it was dominant. I mean, the stretch it out, you ran away. The heat race looked really good. I don't think you guys can change it much underneath you tonight, will you? Nope, just uh, tires and away we go. He just makes it look so easy. He has so much fun. This is a wicked car. Race fans, this is the car we talk about when we talk about the charity car. All the proceeds this car earns this year going towards a new local charity every week. Part of that money in the 5059 being contributed to by that 55 inch TV. We're almost at $1,000 already, Dan. Perfect. It's going to be a good deal. Again, best of luck tonight here at the Strawberry Cup. We'll talk to you later on. We're going to go over here and talk to our Street Stock Trophy Dash winner, Mr. Brian Crump. Brian, this is the second time you've had this car at the track. The first time you've actually got to turn some laps in it. I had a little trouble with it. Uh, the, it was two weeks ago I had a little trouble with it and broke something. But, man, she looked pretty good there in the dash. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Last time we brought it out, we got to do four laps, I think, and broke the rear end transmission driving line. Let's go on. Uh, so, put it back together just to see what I can do. Uh, just kind of get a prep for the Iron Giant race here in September. And maybe I'll probably another one show you for those big shoes on this. Well, watching you and Gentry in that trophy dash was fun because both of you guys were just really, really fast. But to watch two cars set up so different, run, the speeds you guys are running was pretty neat. This car sits a little higher, rolling over a lot more than the 2G of Gentry, who was, you know, kind of down on the ground and keeping the power down there. But what's, I mean, you're really getting this car to roll over. Is that the key to making these cars fast? Yeah, I really don't know. This is the first one of these cars I've had. Uh, just kind of put a baseline set up in that I thought would work pretty well. Um, I, I didn't have time in the week this week to put a chain on the left rear or something like that. I need to do that. I think it looks too much, but so far it looks good. I wouldn't complain. You're up here at the Trophy Dash for the Strawberry Cup. We're going to wish you the best of luck tonight in the Street Sox and your late model. There's your Street Sox winner in the Trophy Dash, Brian Crump. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. We're going to mention your sponsors. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, I definitely got to thank uh, Lance and Jerry and Crump, Petro Services, for paying my FPT and everything they do. Sean. My cousin helped me out a ton here. I got both cars and my dad's a mattress racing. Uh, Metro Services, gas for trucking, finish line concrete construction, Northwest Gas Lines. Uh, all the fans are coming out. Definitely got to thank Not Whole Market for everything they're doing out here too. It's awesome. Absolutely. Sorry about that, man. We'll talk to you later on. We'll talk with our sportsman trophy dash winner. James Slower. James, this car has sure has settled down a lot the past couple of weeks, and I think it's working for you better. This car is looking really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's totally changed the whole gear and all the suspension. Just keep changing everything every week. Well, it didn't matter before. I mean, lifting the, the, the left front up the way it was, the car was still wicked fast, and tonight it just looks much smoother, more consistent in your hands, and watching you pilot thing around. These guys have got their hands full, the rest of the field is number 25 car. Uh, there's a lot of horsepower in that. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the sponsors helping you out. Uh, it's just all families. It's all family done. Clover Family Racing. These guys get out there and they do it in the shop. And it's a family thing. And man, we're going to wish you the best of luck. And we'll talk to you up here after the feature with Strawberry Cup. Yeah, I hope so. Is that what you want? That's James Slower, the number 25. Your sportsman winner.